Thieves are constantly working to steal people's identity and personal data so they can use it to fraudulently file tax returns and claim refund money that isn't theirs. Thieves also impersonate the IRS just to steal taxpayers' money. Remember to check out irs.gov scams for more information and tips on avoiding scammers. Here are a few things you should know so you don't fall victim to these scams. First, the IRS won't initiate contact with you by email or over social media to request personal or financial information. Second, the IRS doesn't send texts with links to claim a refund or text demanding payment. Third, look out for fake emails, social media, or websites pretending to be the IRS or IRS officials, especially where someone tells you a penalty or fee is required to receive things like investment dividends, a job, or lottery winnings. Fourth, phone scams impersonating the IRS often threaten taxpayers with things like arrest and deportation. Remember, the IRS does not leave pre-recorded, urgent, or menacing messages, nor will we demand immediate payment by gift card. Finally, remember the IRS initiates most contacts through regular mail delivered by the U.S. Postal Service. However, there are times when the IRS will call or come to a home or business. Even then, you'll generally first receive several letters from the IRS in the mail. If you believe you've been contacted by a scammer, visit irs.gov scams for details on how to report them.